So it's Saturday morning, and Elizabeth and my mom and the me and Kayla are going to this like women's thing, and my mom and Elizabeth were cooking, and they woke up early to cook, and our oven broke. So not sure how it's gonna work. Our oven broke again. So we like to call it our toy oven, our easy bake oven, because this is the only size oven that we can get to fit in our thing, and it's a little small. But we have a broiler now, but. Hey guys, this is uh, Dana Life in Belize. My uh, dog has found a tarantula in our yard and has been going crazy. I think, I think, whoa, there it is. Pretty good size one there, too. There it is. Where? Oh, gross. Whoa. There it is. Java's is it been, I think it's gonna, Java's killed it. Not quite dead yet. Oh. So everybody made food and then brought the recipe so that we can all share it. <laughs> Everything's so good. How is it cute? Oh, 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 yes! oh, yes! She wants the phone. What did you go ahead? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Got like a white white ab sack. See that? It's just crazy. I wonder what that is. Uh, pretty wild. Hey guys, I'm at the um, San Ignacio Bridge and half of it was washed away in the hurricane. I'm waiting for my dentist but uh, they still got to rebuild it. This is a major thoroughfare into San Ignacio and it's gone. So pretty crazy. So guys, I just found this silly string that I've had in my room for like ever and Larisha's never what seen if silly it, string before. So the girls are going to play even what though what we just it, have one can. What if it's old? Go. <laughs> Not her eyes. Ow, it's ow, my eyeballs. Switch. My eyeballs. Is it really? Oh my, I got it in her hair. <laughs> no eyes. <laughs> it sounds like a dancer. Persia's like, what is this? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> this is her battle word. It looks like vomit. Uh, you shouldn't have to tell me it was... What is the name? Silly string? Silly string. It's not silly string. It's vomit. Guys, yesterday I promised, like, I was walking around like his neck hurt. Like he had a crick in his neck or something. We're not sure what happened. And today it's still there, but it's a little bit better. So we hope our baby feels better. Hmm. Is she a good teacher? Uh -huh. I'm her tutor. <laughs> <laughs> so, Marisha and Erica have been up. It is about 11 o'clock right now. And we've already got busted twice. Erica turn around. So Erica decided that she was going to mark her on her face while she's supposed to be doing school. Smile for the camera. Since these girls thought it was a good idea to stay up way past their bedtime last night and run in and out of the doors, then they got grounded from their eye touches and TV, so they're spending a lot of time on the trampoline today. And as you can see, they're full of energy. They need to get it out. Miss okay, it. guys, as you can see, Promise is feeling so much better. We're so happy he was scaring us so bad. What? He's looking at me because I have a treat. Yay! We decided to actually keep our oven because they don't make ovens this big anymore, so we had to return that one because it was too small for our pans. And so we're just Sorry. What the heck oh. happened to you? <laughs> Why did you do oh. that? Sorry. 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 Hey guys, I'm at the uh, church building, the future church building. We've got a lot of progress going. 
last section of the slab is already in, which is really exciting. Front porch is going in, they'll actually have a step around it, but it should be poured. It looks like it's going to be poured today. And let me take you all the way to the back side of the septic system is going in. It's about, I don't know, 15 feet deep. Uh, they're pouring the concrete on it right now. And um, so it's a huge, looks like a swimming pool right now. There you go. You see right there, they are pouring the slab. The soakaway is at the bottom. It's going to actually have three chambers in the septic system. And uh, anyway, so pretty exciting progress going on at the LifeNet building in Belmopan. So excited about it. So I wanted to give you guys like one like kind of big update on Aircast fingers. So this is the what hand is that the right hand? But it's still and then this is the left hand. So now she no longer has to wear bandages. Just if she's outside, she has some finger and socks night. that she has to wear and at night. And then this one finger still has to wear bandages. Um the one with the long nail. But um so this is her nails are growing back as you can see and yeah they're doing really well they're still not 100 percent she can't go swimming or anything yet but we are getting there so i just wanted to do a little reflection over the journey and ask some questions so like you guys could i don't know hear her side of the story so what was the hardest part about the whole experience well, the hardest part was um, going to the States and having to wait for two hours, but the people helped me there, And but the hardest part was when it happened, of course, because I was in a lot of pain, and when we went to get them changed in the morning, that was hard because I wasn't allowed to look at them, so I was feeling a little scared, so yeah. And it was actually the Belize Hospital was so helpful. We did end up going to the States just so that you know we could make sure everything was as good as we could possibly get it but um the hospital here was so great and we really appreciated it so the next question is um how did you know god was with you through this whole journey well because everybody came over to visit me at the hospital and they were like telling me um they were like telling me how how um, I'm gonna get better soon and that I knew God was with me because I wasn't scared I just was had a feeling and I was relieved and um, I, I just felt encouraged that God was with me and that because everybody was just praying for me and telling how much they love me so and what advice would you give to someone who's going through a hard place right now like you were going through? Um, that um, God is with you and you don't need to be afraid because the healing process may take a long time, but you, as soon as you know it will be over and you will have whatever got hurt, you will have it perfectly back and you just don't need to be scared. You don't need to be scared that people won't be your friends because that was a problem with me. I was a little scared. That nobody was going to be my friends but you don't have to worry people won't stop being your friends because it will just make them love you more and the last question is what did you learn from this whole experience i learned that well <laughs> that healing takes a long time but you at the end it's good and also that you don't have to be scared because uh, and everybody is encouraging you and so, and that God is with you and you never have to be scared again. And it might have been hard, but now it's good. And that's it. Is that you, baby? Is that you? Hey guys, this is an icebreaker to say yes to the dress. Look at the phone. We got Kayla over there. Getting all ready for her wedding. Kaylee, you look so ready for your wedding. Your dad's going to be so proud we made you all. Some Muslim country or something, I don't know. Hey, and there, Kelsey! Kelsey! Woohoo! Comes up on her cry for our new leader every Saturday. Ask Fellow I go VC.
ti sal Boga šumā malākam. Es teku vaicīju glori, kā tu vienu un spēršu neiešaušu viņu brūk. Thank you.